Hi, so I'm going to read a book today which is about wild in the city. So we see lots of wild animals in our city like raccoon, like chipmunk, squirrel, skunk, fox, right? So wild in the city written and illustrated by Jane Thornhill. So let's turn the page here. Look, first page. The sun goes down and night creeps quietly into the city. Street lights blink on, making big yellow circles on sidewalks and lawns. Jenny's mother is tucking her in when Jenny hears a soft chirr. Chirr, chirr coming through the open window. What's that sound, Mom? Jenny whispered. I don't hear anything, Mom said. Jenny sits up in bed. Maybe, maybe it's a wild animal. They both hold their breath and listen hard. They hear the murmur of leaves moving in the breeze. They hear a dog bark. They hear a car honk far away, but they don't hear the strange sound again. Let's turn the page. Thank you. This is the page. Do you see something here? I see raccoon here. And I see hmm, a cat and a squirrel. Outside Jenny's window, a mother raccoon leaps had three fluffy babies down a tree. Chur, chur, the excited kids giggled as they tumbled after her over fences and across backyards. They follow her up onto a porch where the stops in front of a bowl of dry cat food. Hmm. The kids watch closely as their mother turns a piece of the food in the cat's water bowl. Suddenly, they are startled by a loud, deep roar overhead. All four look up into, into the starry night sky. Wings held to his sides, a sleek night hawk dives through the air. So it's a night hawk. He, he plummets fast as a falling stone, then swoops sharply upwards again. Whirr! His wings make the noise that, that startled the raccoons. As the moon moves slowly across the sky, the night hawk hunts for mosquitoes and other flying insects. Why? To eat. He spot a fat fuzzy moth. So here is the moth he is diving for. He chases it. He can almost fill the moth with his chin whiskers when a darting shadow snatches it away from him. Oops! Let's see who snatched it away from him. So let's turn the page and look here. We see here something with ooh, big wing. A small speeding bat swallows the fat fuzzy moth and keeps on flying. So before the hawk the bat swallowed the moth. All through the darkest, quietest hours of the night, the tiny bat flits up, down and around, catching insects on the wing. Twice, circling a house once, twice, three times, the bat senses movement far below. She swoops down, close to the investigate. 
but the little moving things are not testy flies or swarming gnats. They are bits of torn grass being tossed in the air. Hmm, so who is doing that? Let's turn the page on this page. On this page, we see a skunk here. Hmm. So the skunk is trying to find something in the garbage bag. A skunk is digging for June bug grubs. The grass flies up as he digs with his long claws. When he has dug across the lawn, he finds a big green bag full of garbage here. He tears a hole in the bag and pulls out a chicken bone. The sky begins to turn from inky black to deep blue. The sleepy skunk waddles towards his den under a porch. He turns a corner and stops short. Another animal is blocking his way. Who is that? animal let's find it out let's turn the page hmm here look who is blocking his way looks like a meow cat the skunk stamps his front feet in warning and raises his tail in the ear look here so at the sky brightens near dawn the cat's stomach begins to grumble by now, there should be fresh food in her bowl at home. She pats up the steps to her back, her back door and meows loudly. Behind her, something is rustling in a tree. The cat's ears twist and turn at the sound. But then the door opens as the cat purrs her way into the house. Ah! Uh, Waking bird begins to sing. Hmm. Let's let's turn the page. Look. Do you see the bird here? Hmm. A bird with its babies in the nest. A robin greets the sun peeking between the houses. Her four hungry chicks are staring beneath her. The mother robin flies off in search of insects for her nestlings. She returns carrying a grasshopper. She feeds two of her chicks, then sets out again. A flash of wings catches her eye. She gives chase, but her prey suddenly seems to vanish into thin air. See a robin here feeding her four. Yeah, babies, right? So let's let's turn the page. On this page, what do we see? We see a squirrel here and a moth. The morning clock butterfly has landed on a tree. That's a butterfly. This butterfly landed on a tree. There, she is almost impossible to see because her Closed wings are the same color as the tree's brown bark. Ooh. She waits a while, then flutters into a park across the street. The butterfly flits from tree to tree looking for just the right place. Finally, she lights on a sunworm branch and begins to lay her pale eggs on eggs one by one. She has just laid her 14th egg when she is startled into flight. The branch is bouncing up and down. So let's turn the page. Look here. What do we see in this page? Oh, we see a squirrel and baby is here, right? This the squirrel's babies. A squirrel bounds along the branch towards its tip. 
without pausing she takes a flying leap into another tree right her five babies chatter with excitement the mother squirrel curls up with them in the cozy nest of shredded newspapers and leaves oh so they make their houses with leaves and shredded newspaper on this page we see more birds right the house sparrow leaves the hole in the tree to the squirrel family so this is the house sparrow she flies here and there looking for another place to make her home so here look this sparrow is looking for a place to build its nest the afternoon sun burns bright in the sky as the sparrow finds grasses and weeds for her nest she is carrying a long blade of grass to her new home when a dark shadow passes overhead oopsie so the dark shadow is this big bird a hunting bird is diving towards her so that's the hunting bird trying to catch the sparrow the frightened sparrow darts left then right and escape the bigger bird okay so the sparrow escaped the hunting bird couldn't catch her so let's turn the page and see here this is the this is the hunting big bird still hunting the kestrel lands on the top of a tall building let's turn the page again here the toad takes a slow hop forward in the garden then it's end after end as the setting sun slowly sinks behind the houses and trees so the sun is setting it's almost the end of the day on this page you can see the raccoons are on the tree jenny and her mother walk up the path to their house it's jenny's bedtime upstairs they both hear the same strange sound jenny heard the night before this time they peer outside and see a raccoon leading her three fluffy babies down the tree by Janie's window. So that's, that's Janie's window. Nestled together, Janie and her mother watch the raccoon family frolic and romp across the lawn. As the last striped tail disappears into the darkness, they hold their breath and listen heard for a moment they can still hear the soft chur 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 of the raccoons but fin finally that too fades into the night these are the all animals we see in our city so maybe tonight just keep your yeah, ears and eyes open so you may hear the chill of the raccoons. Bye bye.